Ukraine can destroy the Crimean Bridge with Magura drones. Ukraine could hypothetically use Magura drones to strike the Crimean Bridge, Yevgeny Erin, a representative of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense, said on air at the telephone. If we make a purely hypothetical assumption that such a task will be set, then we can say that in any case, it will be a comprehensive solution and here the use of any one type of weapon will most likely not be envisaged. It will be something more global and with the use of at least several types of weapons. We can only imagine this hypothetically, said Erin. He also added that work is currently underway to improve the Ukrainian Magura surface drones in particular with regard to their range. We will not yet announce the specific parameters or capabilities that the drone is planned to have. However, the work is being done intensively and I think that the results will be effective. Recently, the Polish scientific journal Political Science and Security Studies Journal conducted a study in which it discovered that the Ukrainian Magura V-5 drone destroyed the largest number of enemy ships during the full-scale Russian invasion. As part of the study, scientists analyzed the impact of the use of unmanned marine drones on the security situation in the Black Sea region and identified the most effective marine drone. The study showed that during the war, Ukrainian naval drones struck 22 Russian military ships, of which eight were destroyed. In addition, the Nikolai and Mamai drones hit two ships, Sea Baby hit four ships, and Magura V-5 hit 14 ships, eight of which were completely destroyed. Meanwhile, the main intelligence directorate reported that Russia is trying to reproduce the Magura V-5 naval drones. At the same time, Ukraine is now significantly ahead of the Russian Federation in the development of naval unmanned systems. For Kyiv, the Crimean Bridge is equally a hated symbol of the Kremlin's illegal annexation. Its destruction would strengthen Ukraine's campaign to liberate Crimea and raise morale on and off the battlefield where Kyiv's forces are gradually being pushed back. The bridge has been hit and repaired twice before. Putin steps up his hybrid war against Europe, threat of Russia's shadow war increases. Russian ruler Vladimir Putin is stepping up his hybrid war, in particular against Europe, writes international relations expert Samuel Ramani in an article for The Telegraph. He recalls that the day before, the US and Germany foiled a Russian plot to assassinate Rheinmetall CEO Armin Papega. Russia accused him of exporting large quantities of 155mm artillery shells to Ukraine. This happened a few hours after an armed illegal immigrant in Belarus brutally murdered Polish sergeant Mateusz Sitek. These actions fit well into the Russian playbook. Russian intelligence services hire saboteurs to set fire to military supply depots for Ukraine and install surveillance cameras in key logistics hubs. Russia uses GPS jamming to disrupt the flight paths of civilian aircraft in the Baltic, Black and Mediterranean seas. Through its patron Alexander Lukashenko, Russia stimulates illegal migration flows from Belarus to Poland and the Baltic states. Russia's plot to kill Paperga is part of a broader campaign to intimidate arms suppliers to Ukraine. The author notes, in his opinion, Russia's shadow war against Europe has escalated over the past six months due to the influx of Western weapons into Ukraine and the strengthening of sanctions against Russia. Ukraine's use of NATO weapons to strike Russian targets and the EU's transfer of proceeds from the frozen assets of the Russian central bank to Ukraine are fueling the Kremlin's thirst for revenge. Russia is waging its shadow war with impunity and without proper deterrence, its behavior will only get worse. A little toughness, common sense and preventive action could make Russia think twice about escalating its own shadow war, the expert concludes. Although Western policy towards Putin's Russia has toughened considerably since the full-scale invasion of Ukraine, it has responded with half measures to the threat of Russia's shadow war. Russia's neighbors have been forced to act alone and shoulder most of the burdens of these hybrid threats. Lithuania completed a border fence in August 2022. Poland started recruiting a border wall with Belarus in January 2022. It is now in the process of installing electronic surveillance systems, cameras, lighting and automated alarm systems across the wall's perimeter. 